Hey everyone, it's Nicole here today with a card or a trio of cards featuring honeybee stamps. These are some Phelan Foxy layered hexagon background cards. I am a huge fan of these hexagon layers and I wanted to show how you can create lots of different cards with them. I am using the top, middle, and base plate hexagon designs and die cutting them from some different shades of pink cardstock with a nice ivory cream off in the background and then a mint die cut greeting. So lots of different honeybee products here today. You can die cut these hexagon base plates with any die cutting machine, but I'm gonna tell you guys right now that the Gemini is fantastic. It's fantastic for any detail type of dies, which these definitely are. Um, keep in mind all these little hexagon pieces die cut out. Because they're detailed and the even pressure of the Gemini, it makes die cutting these a snap. Meaning you put them through the machine one time and it's gonna die cut them perfectly. I can't say enough great things about this. This is where a machine like this totally comes in so handy. I also will highly, highly recommend the Spellbinders Platinum Machine. I have also die cut all of these backgrounds with this card. In fact, I will link to a card I created with these same dies. It's a completely different style of card, but the background was created with these layers. All of those were die cut with the Spellbinders Platinum. I also only had to run those through once. So that is a fantastic manual option. I definitely recommend the Gemini for an electronic option. So just kind of um, a little note of what I have found works really great. So you can see how well these pop out. If there's anything stuck, I love the Spellbinders craft mat. One side is more of a traditional nonstick or, um, oh my gosh, can't think of the word, uh, craft mat, but when you flip it over, it's foam. This gray side is foam. And all you have to do is run your tool in one over it and it's going to pop out any of those little pieces. So I really, really recommend that. I am going to die cut the three layers for my cards. I'm kind of alternating them. So they're not all exactly the same, even though they are the same three colors. I pulled my color palette from a color combination I saw on Pinterest. If you wanna head over to my blog, I am showing the original color inspiration for this design. I kinda of knew what I wanted to use ahead of time, but I wasn't sure of the colors. And I went to my color inspiration board and pulled these colors out, and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Another great thing about using a craft mat like this is I'm just kinda of poking all the hexagons out and here you can see I'm just using that little brush to pop all those out. And then I just pick it up and take it over to my trash can or my trash can's under my desk. I'll pull it out and I knock all of those little pieces into there. So look how awesome that layer looks. Originally I thought I'd put mint behind it, but I did not like that at all. The cream off from Simon Says Stamp, so much better. I'm going to go ahead and die cut all of my backgrounds. I did all of my die cutting first. I also die cut this hooray die from Honey Bee Stamps. This is um, the outline from Vellum, and then I die cut two layers from Simon Says Stamp mint cardstock. You could do just one. I felt like two made it a little bit more dimensional and a little bit easier. I, I don't know, I like the dimension of it. I didn't wanna do too many. This is a really delicate little die cut. I'm using a fine tip applicator on my Ranger multi matte medium to glue these one on top of another and then glue them to the vellum. Something to keep in mind when working with vellum and liquid adhesive, it's going to make your vellum roll up unless you put something heavy on top of it like this acrylic block to hold it down until the glue dries. Because I left that acrylic block there until the glue was completely dry, I didn't have any trouble with my sentiments rolling up. In addition to Hooray, we're also gonna use Birthday Cheer. And then I used the Foxy sentiment, um, the, the Foxy word, just like this. So each of them have a vellum background or a shadow. And then the sentiment itself was die cut from the mint cardstock. 
and I'm gluing all of them together just like this. I'm only gonna share the one here on camera since it's a little time consuming gluing them one on top of another. However, when you're creating multiples of cards, I often like to switch up my greetings like I'm doing here, even though the card design itself is exactly the same. Next, I'm just gonna glue my layers together and I, since I had my Ranger multi Matte Medium out, this is gonna work fantastic. I'm just drawing a little line of glue here on the back. This is another example of where I find more uses for my acrylic blocks than just using them for stamping, especially because I don't use them for stamping all that much anymore. I use my Misty or a stamp platform almost always, but an acrylic block is great for holding these layers down while the glue dries. So I've got this big Lawn Fawn acrylic block that I'm using to hold these all down. Now you don't have to put glue all over the background, around the edges and maybe some, um, I was kind of aggressive with my adhesive here. As I put all of these backgrounds together, I got a little more lax. I realized I really didn't need the glue everywhere. There is a right and wrong way. If you flip this the wrong way, these layers, it won't line up perfectly, which could create a whole different kind of look. But if you want this hexagon look and want it to line up, you'll notice that there is a right way to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue all three card layers together so that all of my backgrounds are ready to go. Then I've got a piece of vellum and I am taking sentiments from the Foxy Sentiments stamp set for all three cards, stamping them with an embossing ink and heat embossing with white embossing powder. Then I'm going to glue this little strip to the card, depending on which Fox image from Feelin' Foxy that I'm using. I did hide a little bit of the glue back behind the embossed word to glue that in place, and then I'm gonna hide a little glue on the ends and disguise that with a Honey Bee Candy Heart, little heart uh, embellishment and I'll show you that here in a second. So let's go ahead and glue the vellum strip down. We'll glue, glue the greeting down, and then we need to stamp our foxes and hearts from Feelin' Foxy and color those all in. I am using this front-facing fox twice and then the side-facing fox once, and we're going to go ahead and stamp all of those, do all the coloring, all the die cutting, and then put all the cards together. Just like everything else in this video, I am only gonna share the process and the coloring one time. All three are colored the same, all of the hearts are the same. The only differences between these three cards is the die cut sentiment I'm using and the stamped sentiment I'm using. Otherwise, everything else is exactly the same. So I'm just stamping my little fox I stamped the hearts later. I kind of forgot them when I originally stamped my image. I'm gonna speed through the coloring, but I will leave it in here so that you can kind of see the steps I took to color in these cute little guys. Starting with E30 for the lightest area of my fox, I'm going to do kind of his chest area, his, part of his face, and the tip of his tail and then shade in with E31. I'm just kind of feathering in that co darker color just a little bit here and there, and then we'll blend that out with E30 again. The darker areas of the fox, the base is E35, and then E37 and 39 for the rest, with R00 for the insides of the ear, and I layered a little of the E30 over that. I don't like my pink to be so super pinky, and so a lot of times I'll take my lightest color, whether it's a warm gray or in this case a neutral brown, and just kind of go over that pink slightly. It's still pink, but it kind of helps mute it a little bit and works better with the critter, I think. We're gonna work in our darker colors, blend those until we get the right um, coloring for this cute little guy, and then a little E49 for the nose, blend it out with one of my E37 or 39, it really, either one will be fine. And then just kind of blend and blend. I'm not gonna worry about the eyes right now. I always like to go over the eyes of my critters with a black and a white gel pen. So even if you color over them, it's perfectly fine here. You can always go over them with a pen later on. The inside of the mouth is going to be R24. And then I'm adding a little dot detail with E39 
give this cute little fox some texture, we want to take the coordinating felin foxy dies, line those up, and then just run them through whatever die cutting machine you're going to use. I use my spell binders. Um, I use the Gemini for all of that intricate de uh, die cutting, but my spell binders machine usually sits right next to where I'm working, and I just simply ran those through. So there is my cute little fox. Let's go ahead and put some strong adhesive on him. This is another great place where you can hide adhesive underneath the vellum so that that vellum strip stays put. And I need to kind of just put a little bit of adhesive underneath the exclamation point on the hooray. I purposely left that vellum strip a little long so I can trim that down however short I need to. I've also already or I'm placing that black pin on the eyes. I want to let that sit for a minute and make sure it's completely dry before I take my white pin and add that detail. Now for the hearts, this is R32 and 35. This is more of a peachy pink it real or raspberry, I guess is what it ends up being more like, not really peachy pink, more raspberry, which really works with the cardstock colors I'm using. I should also mention the cardstock colors are partly from Lawn Fawn and part from Simon Says Stamp. The pinks are from Lawn Fawn. They're ballet slippers, guava, and raspberry. The cream is Cream Off by Simon Says Stamp, and then the mint is also from Simon Says Stamp. We're gonna die cut those hearts, and then we're gonna pop those in place on the card as well. There are solid hearts in Feelin' Foxy, so maybe you want to use a solid ink and skip the coloring altogether. That would be awesome as well. Then we're going to glue these little hearts in place and then it's simply adding finishing detail to the card. And in this case, what I'm going to do is take Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard, which if you've seen some of my videos, you guys probably know I love White Blizzard. It's a translucent, sparkly um, glitter Nouveau Crystal Drop. And what is fantastic about it is it's going to dry clear but with a sparkle. So if you want more intense sparkle than you'd get from the Wink of Spe Stella Clear Glitter Brush Pen or similar products, it is fantastic. Plus it's going to have that gritty, glittery texture. I like to take it and kind of color over things. Now these are those little candy hearts from Honey Bee. They're in white that I'm placing at each end. There's a little dab of glue underneath the vellum that's holding that to the card, and then the little piece on top which disguises that, but it really goes with the design of this card as well, at, and um, also serves as hiding or disguising that um, adhesive. Here's the Nuvo Crystal Drops. We're gonna color this over the hearts. We're not gonna lose the heart color. Any of that kind of milky color you see, as the Nuvo Crystal Drops completely dry, you are not gonna see that. It's gonna dry clear, but it's just gonna be awesome and sparkly. We'll also go over the die cut word so that it's nice and sparkly as well. One last thing that I don't think I shared on camera is I did take glossy accents and go over the noses on my foxes so that they were nice and glossy when that dried. So let's go ahead and put some strong adhesive on the front of a side fold card. Pop this in place. These hexagon backgrounds are slightly smaller than A2 size, which means they're gonna leave a nice little thin border all the way around. Use my Teflon bone folder to score this really well. And there is the finished card. So here is the card we just created with the hooray die cut greeting. And the rest of the greeting says, I'm wild about you. The other two, I have a birthday card that says sending birthday cheer. Same little design, but so cute with that little fox. And then, hey there, Foxy. A great card for any time. Thanks for joining me today for this trio of cards featuring honeybee stamps and dies. The supplies I use to create these cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more cards featuring honeybee stamps that you might be interested in. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.